Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Jay from BornToBlues.com. So back to the track. Right now we're going to flesh out the track with some more instruments and layers. So let's get fleshy. So as you saw from one of the previous lessons, we've already used the sampler track to play our snare. Now we're going to use the sampler track to make a musical instrument. Okay, so the pad we created in the last lesson is nice, but it's a little bit low key and it's great for our intro. But for the chorus section, we want something with a bit more power. So for this, I'm going to use a sample from our very own Born to Produce House Tools 1 sample pack. But don't worry, we have included it in the work files, which you'll get access to when you purchase the course. Again, the link is in the description below. So moving over to the right hand zone, like we always do, let's go back to the home page by clicking the left arrow. Then we're going to go to File Browser this time, which checks what's on your computer. And just go to where you unzipped the work files when you downloaded them from our website and find the audio folder. I'm going to obviously navigate to the House Tools 1 folder on my computer and try to find a lead sound that's going to fit with this track. Okay, so these sounds are a little bit loud. Let's just turn it down in the volume control just here. Okay, I'm going to select lead 04. And just like we did with the snare, we're going to right click and create a separate sampler track. Now, I think we need to zoom out a little bit vertically. So I'm going to come over to this slider here. And just click that a few times. And you can see we have a brand new sampler track here. Now we have a playable audio sample all ready to go within our sampler. Obviously we need to trigger that by MIDI. All we're going to do this time is simply copy over the MIDI from our chord progression made in the last lesson. So highlight the MIDI we created in the last lesson, hold down Alt or Option on a Mac and click and drag to copy. Obviously we need to turn this down to blend in with everything else in the track. So now this chord progression is going to trigger our brand new lead sound. So one more thing before we play it, I want this to sound quite intense as it's for the chorus, so I'm just going to pitch this up an octave. So double click to view the MIDI, and I'm going to highlight all with Control and A, and then I'm going to press Shift and the up key to shift everything up one octave. Let's just have a listen. Okay, let's just turn it down a bit more. Okay, all sounds good so far. I'm going to do exactly the same process again and start adding more layers and more textures. And now that we have a sample track already set up, it's even easier. So I'm going to right click the track this time and duplicate it. And that's duplicated the sampler track. Now I can simply drag and drop any sample from my computer into the sampler to immediately audition that sound and try to find a different texture to add to what we've already got. So I'm thinking I want something like a more organic texture. Maybe we'll use a choir sample. So let's have a look, see what Cubase has got built in. Let's go to loops and samples. Now I've got an idea of what I want to use, so I'm going to type in Voxscape. And I'm going to use this one here, Voxscape 06 E3. I'm going to drag that in. And now this MIDI here is going to be triggering this choir sample. Let's just have a listen to what we've got. Let's just mute the other lead first of all. Just turn that up a little bit. And let's add in the other lead just to see how they work together. So, so we just need to balance these out a little bit. This, this lead is quite intense and this lead is just going to be a texture that adds to it yeah that sounds pretty good so guys you can really see how easy it is to add more sounds and more layers and more textures whether it's audio or instrument based lovely so there's one more sound i want to add now which is going to be used in the intro and the breakdown section of this track so let's just get that in so again, we're going to duplicate one of our sampler tracks. Right click and hit duplicate. 
And rather than a pad or lead sound this time, I want a more plucked sound. So we're going to use another sound from House Tools 1, which again is included in the work files if you purchase the course. So again, navigate on the right hand side to File Browser and go to where you downloaded the audio. So that's quite a plucky sound, I'm going to use that, Lead 03. And again, just going to drag and drop this into the new duplicated version of the sampler. This time we're going to modify the MIDI slightly so it doesn't get super boring. So I'm going to double click the MIDI, just make the window slightly bigger. I'm going to remove the second and the fourth chord. Okay, I also want to double the length of this part, so again, highlight it, Control D, and then I'm going to right click, get my glue, and highlight the whole thing and glue it. So now it's a four bar part. Right click to go back to an ordinary tool. And now I'm just going to program in some extra notes. So just going to delete all these low root notes. Next I'm going to select all the F's and G's and just put them up an octave, just so it suits the sound a little bit better. Again, don't worry too much if you're not really understanding this from a musical theory point of view. You don't need to worry about this at the moment, but if you do want more information, obviously we do have our Music Theory for EDM Producers course available on our website. Let's just see what we've got so far. So, nice plucky sound now, adding interest to the song. Let's just put a fill of notes in this last section here to keep the interest. Okay, so I've just programmed in a fill at the end here to make it a bit more interesting. Let's have a listen. And they're a little bit louder, these last few notes. So just come down to where it says velocity here. We can just turn them down. Velocity is just another word for volume or really what it is, it's how hard you hit the keys on your keyboard the harder being the louder they go. So let's just turn them down a little bit and have a listen. Okay, let's also extend the pads and everything and just see what this whole thing sounds like. So highlight them all, Control D, and let's play. See what we've got so far. Okay, so you can see the song is starting to take shape with all the different layers and textures. Obviously this all needs to be mixed and we'll be doing that in the forthcoming lessons. So before we start making the bass line, let's just arrange the parts we have made so far. Okay, so let's create a little space at the start of our track for the intro, which is just going to be the pad. So I'm just going to zoom out a touch here, highlight everything, Control A, duplicate everything over, Control D, so let's control A, select everything again, and move everything over. So we now have space at the start of the project. And so we want this intro to have like the pad, so let's just copy the pads over. So we have a nice mellow intro. Hold down Alt, and copy them over. Okay, I've just noticed we need to do some renaming because everything says pad at the moment and it's hard to see what instrument is which. So let's call this main lead. And this is choir, and this is pluck. So now we can see everything, what's going on. So this pluck sound, I don't particularly want that in the chorus. Let's just move this over for the intro. And let's take the choir as well. It's gonna be quite a mellow intro with you know the vocals singing and obviously the pad and the choir and the pluck. And we're gonna use standard eight bars for the intro. So the song is starting to take shape a little bit now. You can Let's just play the end of the intro into the chorus. Yeah, so it's coming along nicely. Obviously there's a lot more to do. 